How y'all doing, people? This is God's good news for you today. And um, I just want to uh, come on here just to encourage y'all for about a few minutes, you know, not um, nothing major or anything. Um, I just want to tell you to uh, keep your eyes on the Lord. No matter what you go through in life. All right. No matter what you go through in life. Whatever it takes. And it takes a lot. To stay with the Lord. It takes all um, willpower, mind, heart, body, and soul. You have to become one with the Father. Every day. Sun up to sundown. Right now, at this moment in time, he's asking a lot of people to um, repent and ask for forgiveness of their sin. Right now, at this moment in time. For people who do not believe that he is our only savior right now. And that um in order to be with Jesus and the Father, you have to commune with him every day and daily. From the sun up to sundown. So I just came over here to tell y'all to Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. I'm gonna be um I'm gonna be coming on here um and, and teaching about um um a couple of teachings um about uh what you should be eating and what you shouldn't be eating, you know, in order to uh, gain your your um uh, your spiritual clarities and, and your um spiritual gifts and things like that so that way you can be um, in tune with the Father you can become one with him and um, not only that um, to just uh, to just look at him as actually your real father because he's the one that made everything he's the one that created Every single thing, everything on planet Earth. And a lot of us don't give him credit for that. So I just, um, God should just throw that out there. He built a beautiful world. Universe, galaxy, and stars. Also the heavens, too. So sometimes you have to. Think outside of your box and let your mind wonder what's outside of this box. You have to let your mind go way beyond. The eyes can see. When you do that, you begin to walk in your own world. So I just took it off and, it and not the world that you're like walking in. All over my whole so you get it? But well, actually walking in this world, you would actually be walking into a new world. But you have to be consistent with everything that you do, with your endeavors, with um, staying with him all day, every day, in and out. Um, 24-7, just nothing but God, nothing but you and Jesus, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. All right, so, it is a beautiful thing. That's why they call him Master, Rabbi. They call him many names. 
He's the master. He's the master of teaching. He is the master of teaching. Yeah. No one teaching comes above Jesus. No one. Him and the Father. The wisdom and knowledge that they have is, is, is uh, <clears throat> brilliant. Brilliant. It's, it's immaculate. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's on a whole nother scale. You know, you can't, you can't get those. You can't get that. Yeah. And to be with the Father and to learn these things about Him and, and to ask about these things is, uh, you have to humble yourself. I mean, come to Him, ask Him, and seek Him, and pray. And I mean, pray and keep praying. I'll never stop praying. I'll never stop praying. Um, <clears throat> and ask them the things that you need to know about your spirit and about your soul and who you are in the Father. So that way, when you learn that way, when He talks to you and He, he um, it's almost like he leaves pieces to show you things, you know. He starts you off small, and then he, he takes you high, you know. Um, this thing, you know. Uh, then he takes you up high. But you have to be willing to start. It's the best part. You have to be willing to start from somewhere. So if you go ahead and start now, by another year or two, you'll be where you want to be. That's almost like um, putting in a in a 30-year plan uh, to retire, right? Exactly. But it only took you maybe a couple of years. But in order to get with him, in order to be with the Father and with Jesus, you have to sacrifice things. It's going to come time where you're going to be like, is he really serious? Yes, he's serious. Because he's going to see how much you really love him. How far you willing to go. How far are you willing to go? With Jesus and with God. So, it takes OB faith. Um, it takes a lot of stripping. A lot of stripping. Yeah, I mean, you have to do this for not only him, but for yourself too. And also to teach yourself mentally, physically. Emotionally and spiritually, it comes um, once you get a once you get a hang of it, once you start doing it, and then you be like, okay, well, I'm gonna do this for about a week, or I'm gonna do this for a couple of days, and then it becomes a week, and then it becomes two weeks, and then it comes three weeks, then it comes a month, then it comes, you know, and then things start to start to look up for you and you start to see things and now it becomes a routine and when it becomes a routine and you start doing those things um, that's where he come in at and he goes he, he downloads things to you he shows you things he gives you epiphanies he gives you dreams he gives you visions and show you these things and it's like almost like a it's almost like puzzle pieces. You put them together, you know, and uh, you just, it's, it's, I can't really explain it. I'm gonna have to do another video on, uh, I'm gonna have to do that one day and just really like put some thought into that and, and show you how, how it goes and things like that. Cause it's, it's, it's a lot of things that he teaches you and uh, you have to be like, uh, 
aware at times. Sometimes the enemy be fighting you so much that you, 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 you can't figure it out, you know, until and the Holy Spirit gives it to you, you know. And that's the best thing about him, you know. He, he always makes sure that you get it, you know. Uh, no matter what, you know, you're you going to get it. Whether you didn't get it then or get it then, you'll get it. Trust me, you'll get it. Just keep going. Keep going. <laughs> and, um, and just keep going. Just do your time. Do your gifts at the same time of what he gave you. He's also going to multiply your gifts in your time. That's what a lot of people don't know about Jesus. See, they know that they, they have this gift, or they might be uh, writing songs, or they might be singing songs and, and uh, 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 doing videos. But to come and find out, they might write songs, write books, they might be uh, uh, editing, they might be producing, and they don't even know that they know how to do these things. Because you haven't really actually took the time to sit back and actually learn yourself, learn that soul. See, you have to, when they say going, I'm on a, I'm on a journey, I'm on a soul's journey. I mean, it actually, you, you really have to search that soul. And when you search your soul to the full capacity, you find some things that you never thought you would bark upon. And I mean, it, 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 it takes you on a whole nother level. A whole nother level. But you're on the level that you thought you was gonna be up on. But that's a good thing. Because I learned a lot of experiences along my way. I learned a lot of Wisdom and knowledge with Jesus and the Father. Um, I learned how to be more grateful, more humble, more uh, joyful, more peaceful when you're around them. Because when you're in their presence and you just, you just, you just soak up the glory, the glory just. <laughs> Glory just, man, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Being around the Father is it's, it's beautiful. It's like uh, his son or his daughter, you know, running around the house and, and just cut up upon the daddy, you know, and it's just, it's, just, it's just a wonderful feeling, you know. That's how it feels, you know. It feels like that. Everybody at home and, and the kids running around and the kids want to just be up under you, you know. And that's how it is. You know, and that's how he wants it. You know? uh, that's, a, that's, a, uh, that's a very beautiful thing. You know? Because he teaches his kids. Abba the Father. He teaches him and Jesus. And there's some beautiful teachers. Not only is it wisdom, knowledge, and things, but it is beautiful teaching. Because... Also, you're going to go through some things, and he, he sends you out like, um, he knows his children that he have to send out in the world, or, or, or it's almost like you sending your child out in the world when they get like 14, 15 years old, and um, uh, they didn't know about really too much of the world because they always stayed at home with you, or they always... Uh, was at school or something like that. So when they get a little older and you have to let them make mistakes on their own, you tell them you're able to give them information, but if they go out there and make mistakes on their own, then they have to learn from those mistakes and they have to come back to you and say, well, Dad, Mom, you was right. I shouldn't have did that. I know better now. And um, I, want, I want what you want for me. Uh, you let me know, you know, what 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 I need to know about certain things so that I could be aware of these things throughout my lifetime. And um, they, 
that's where the mom and dad come in. They had to sit down and talk with them and, and let them know, uh, you know, um, everything ain't what you think it is, you know. And to not do these things in order to, to avoid these things, not have babies um, right now. Because you know you can't afford to have a baby right now. You're too young to have a baby right now. And it's just, it's just, um, <clears throat> it's just logical things, you know, that you shouldn't be doing at a moment in time and in an age of time, you know. And uh, that's how the father works with you. You know, he lets you know, you know, you, you know, you really don't need to be doing that. You know, you don't need to be smoking. You know, you don't need to be drinking. You know, you don't need to be going out to, to the club, and then you know you gotta go to church in the morning. You know, it's, it's, it's come on, you, you can't be doing those things. You can't be doing those things. This is, uh, you, you're going backwards, you know? So, I just came on here to encourage y'all, to let y'all know uh, y'all be uh, good out there, and be blessed, and uh, keep your eyes in the sky. Pray away for the Lord, because he's coming. But he wants you to be on your best behavior. And he wants people to repent and ask for their forgiveness. That's all. He asks for nothing more, nothing less. You know, he asks for you to repent and ask for forgiveness. That is the main thing right now. That is the main thing right now. I mean, seriously, because there's just some things going on in the world right now, you know, and uh, we all need to be in his grace and in his mercy and at his feet. So, I thank y'all for listening to this broadcast. This is uh, God's good news for you today, and uh, y'all be blessed.